what is that I have in this session for all of you let's check that so guys uh, I will be discussing about uh, four important topics in fact in this session what is the meaning of du but I can create the variable so the creation what is the meaning of definition use but the first node should be definition and the last node should be you need to trace all the variables with respect to the chart or the graph Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session with respect to the data flow testing. So guys, don't watch this session if you have not watched my previous session on data flow testing because I have discussed a lot of important basics in my session one, that is previous session of data flow testing. So guys, so yes, what is that I have in this session for all of you, let's check that. So guys, uh, I will be discussing about uh, four important topics, in fact, in this session. The first one that is DU paths for stock locks. And also I will be telling you what exactly DU clear and DU definitions. So guys, this is what I will be defining or I will be discussing in this session. So please stay tuned, watch this complete video. So you will get a lot of things is what I would like to tell you. So fine, this is what you have seen in my previous session. Yes, I have told you that these two topics, I will be discussing that in the next session. Yes, that is in this session. So let's understand what exactly that I have here. I have a definition use path, okay? In, in my session, if at all, if I say du path, you need to understand that is definition use path. Suppose if I say dc path, you need to understand that that is a definition clear path. Sir, what exactly du path or a dc path is all about? Yes, of course, I'm speaking about the path, but what exactly du path and dc path? So my dear students, this data flow testing is completely, it's all about the how exactly you are defining the variable and how exactly you are using the variables. So let's understand this, okay, to understand these two topics. Let me take up the same program. This is a commission problem that we have already discussed. So all of you know this, right? So this is the graph that I have. So I'm representing this, okay? So this is the notes. All right, so you all know about it. This is what I've discussed in my previous session. So keeping this as a reference, let me explain the concept. So let's understand. Guys, imagine this is the nodes that I have. Nodes in the sense what I will assume or I will imagine nodes as a variable in data flow testing. So fine. So imagine this is the variable that I've defined, okay? So I can create or I can define n number of variables n number of times but at the end I should use it okay this path I will call it as definition use path that is du path what is the meaning of du path I can create the variable so the creation is what I will call it as a defining the variable I can create or I can define n number of times I can create the variable or I can define the variables n number of times in the path, but at the end, I have to use it. So that is what I will call it as a definition use path or du path. But when it comes to the definition clear path, so please remember and understand it clearly. So guys, here, according to the previous path, that is du path, okay, I can define it n number of times. Here also I can define, here also I can define, but I should, I should use at the end. So that is the condition. But when it comes to the DC path, what exactly DC path then? So DC path in the sense, I should define it in the beginning, but I am not supposed to define it in between the path is what you need to remember. So once if I define it in the beginning, I just have to use it till the end. So I am not supposed to, I'm not supposed to define it again in between is what you need to remember that is what i will call it as a dc path so please remember the difference between the du path and the dc path du path in sense i can have i can define it n number of times in between in the path at the end i have to use it but when it comes to dc path that is defined clear path only in the beginning i have to define but after that, I have to use it is what you have to remember with respect to the DC path. So fine, you understood what is DU path and DC path. 
So with an example, let's understand the DU path for the locks. All right, so find what exactly DU path. So I have already told you, so listen to me carefully. Let me take a snippet of uh, locks. All right, so fine guys, I have taken two paths. You need to observe here carefully. I have named it as P1 and P3. So the path name is P1 and P3. So we are trying to understand the DU paths. Definition use path. What is the meaning of definition use path? The first node should be definition and the last node should be used in between. You can define, you can use whatever you want, you can do it. So that is what we call it as a DU path. Let's check this. So fine. I have the first path that is P1. So it starts with the node number 13. That is line number 13. So fine. So here. So I have line number 13. What is that I'm doing here? Input locks. So I will call this as a define. All right. So I'm defining the variable here. I'm defining the variable. So fine. Cool. So what is the last last node that I have? I have 14. So what is that I have? So while not lock is equal to minus one. So I'm using the locks there. Yes. So this while is a predicate use. Of course, I have discussed this in my last session. Yes. So am I using the locks anyway here? Yes, you are using that. So you're defining and you're using. Can I call it as a one path? Yes. Can I call it as a DU path? Yes, you can call. However, it is not mandatory that these many nodes that you should have in the path. So can I call this as a one path? Yes, you can call this as a path. All right, so can I call this as a DU path or a DC path? Sir, you can call the DU path as also DC path. So when, when the starting node is defining and the ending node is clear, so then I can call that as a DC path also. But the DC path cannot be a DU path is what you need to remember in your mind. So fine, so you understood about the path one. What is the next one that I have? Path three. So in that, so please observe. What is that I have? I have node number 19. So my definition of the node starts from 19. So what is that I have? 19, in the 19, yes, input locks. I'm defining again. So guys, I'm defining the locks here. Cool. After that, so I have node number 20. Yes, I have node number 20. So while loop ends here. Why loop ends here. So fine. After that, I'm going back to the loop. I'm going back to the loop again. I'm using the locks here. So guys, so this is what the DU path is all about. That's what you need to remember. So fine. If you take up this snippet, so you will be able to write two more paths. So please don't forget to write that. So I will leave it to you. So P2 and P3. So try to write the P2 and P3 path and drop it in the comment box if you're watching my session. So fine. So this is all about the DU path with respect to the locks. So I have something for all of you here. My dear students, it's very important that you need to understand. So this is a tabular column that we have listed it for you. So what exactly that I have in this tabular column? We have listed the random variables, all the variables almost. So lock price is there, stock price is there, barrel price is there, you know, store, total stocks is there, and locks is there, sales is there. So guys, you need to understand here, we have different, different paths here, all right? So we are trying to test the different, different paths for the different variables. This is just a sample that I'm bringing it to you so that how exactly we are trying to deal with the variables, all right? So let me show you the first one. So I have taken the variable name called lock price. What is the variable that I have taken? I have taken the variable called lock price. So fine. What is that we are trying to do? So we are trying to check the path. We are trying to check the path for this variable. Okay. So path number one, you can imagine like that. So fine. So for this path, what is that we are trying to check? So please understand. So I have two values. What are the two values? One is the beginning one and the last one. The beginning node and the last node is what you need to remember. So fine. So where exactly this lock price starts, where exactly the lock price starts or the definition of this lock price that is in the seven and it ends in the 24. That's what you need to remember. So I will show you with the program. So what is that I have? Lock price, it defined in the line number seven. So node number seven and it ends in the line number 24. That's what you need to remember. Lock price, 24 is it? Log price, so please observe here. So 24, line number 24, I'll show you again. So please check. So I have seven and 24. So please observe the program here again. 
So 7 and 24. All right. So after this, I'm not using the log price in the program. That's what you need to remember. So this is how you have to start listing the different, different parts for all the variables. All right. So fine. So I'm just checking definition clear. Is it definition clear? Yes, it is definition clear is what you need to understand. So you know what exactly definition clear is all about. I have told that a number of times in the presentation. So fine. I'm taking the next variable. What is the next variable that we have? We have stock price. So where is the beginning? So eight in the eight, it is beginning. Okay. That is the definition. And at the end, like, you know, where exactly it is going to end. So it is an ending in the 25. So let me show you that again in the program. So in the eight, it is going to begin. All right. The definition is happening here. So where it is going to end. So guys, so please observe stock price. I'm ending it here. All right. That's what you need to notice. So in the same way, guys, for each and every variable we have listed out. So that's what you need to observe. You need to trace all the variables with respect to the chart or the graph. That's what I will call it as a program graph. All right. So keep the program this side and also the chart that is program graph and you have to map it with this table. So this is what you have to do. So then finally, you will be able to identify whether it is definition use or definition clear. So I repeat what exactly definition use is all about. So definition use in the sense, say for example, you will create a variable. So that is what I will call it as a, you are defining a variable. So fine, once you have defined, so if you are using the du path, you can define it n number of times. You can define it n number of times. All right, I'm defining it here, but at the end, you have to use it. At the end, you have to use it. So that's what you need to remember. You need to remember with respect to the du path. But when it comes to the dc path, that is definition clear path. So please remember at the beginning you will define, but so you will not define it again, but you will be using it. You will be using it. That is what you need to understand. This will be the DC path. This will be the DC path. One more important point that I have told you in the presentation. So DU path can be a DC path sometimes. That's what you need to remember. Fine. So guys, hope you have understood what is DU path and what is DC path. Some of you will be having a doubt, sir, how exactly I can define it again and again, again and again. You told, sir, define a variable in the beginning and then again you can define it. So how is this possible, sir? Yes, I will clear that doubt to all of you with the program. So <clears throat> observe here properly. So guys, I have a uh, Total balance. Let me take this. All right. So am I defining it here? Yes, I am defining it here. So hope you know this. And then again, I'm writing total barrel is equal to total barrels plus barrels. So guys, even this also, I can treat it as a definition or I'm defining the variable. So this is where you will be able to find. So definition, another one definition. So two times you are able to get the variable with the definitions. So this is what you need to observe whenever you are tracing the program. All right. So hope you understood the definition uh, use and definition clear with respect to different variables that we have come across. So what is the assignment that you have to do? So what is that you have to prepare yourself? You should be keeping this program with you. So pro make the program ready with you and then keep this graph with you. So what is that you have to do? So you have to try writing the different du parts for all the variables and DC path for all the variables. If you are able to do that successfully, and then you have the clear idea about DU path and the DC path. So that is what I would like to tell you at this point of time. So by saying this, so guys, so this is how I have listed out uh, for the commission variable also. So guys, that's what you need to remember. So by saying this, I will be winding up this session for all of you. Bye bye. Thank you.